Happy New Year! This will be the first video of the new year. I'm so excited! And I didn't really plan like a specific video to go up on New Year's, but not surprising, I have more declutters to get done and more empties videos because I thought I was done decluttering. Well, almost done. Then I realized I was not because I started packing a little bit last night and I got these airtight bags from Marshalls and they came in a pack of four and they're like big size bags, which is great. So I'll show you. I got this situation going on. So those are the bags over there. Here is uh, my rolled up airtight bag right here. So I put all of my summer clothes in there. I still have some to pack, but I fit almost a whole drawer inside this bag. They are so big. And of course, summer clothes are lightweight and small. I was able to fit a ton of stuff in there. So I need to do more of that. So doing that made me realize I might have to get rid of things that I like which sucks, but <laughs> that's the reality of moving. You're gonna have to get rid of a ton of stuff. And if you've been watching all my declutters, you know I've been getting rid of a ton. There's some products, actually a lot of products that I planned on selling. They weren't doing great. And it's not like they were bad products. They just were not selling. And I don't have the capacity, I guess, to keep them for a long time. So I'm like, you know what? I can donate this stuff. I'm gonna donate it. And I'm usually a very big advocate for donating. Donating has always been on my heart more than selling things. So I donated a lot of stuff that I was originally selling, but it's okay. Cause I feel a lot better about it and it's out of my house. You know, it's gonna make someone else really happy. They're gonna get more use out of it than I was able to. So that's all that matters. I want to do an eyeshadow declutter today. Yeah, the last one I did, I kept so many eyeshadow palettes and I barely touched them. This will be the ruthless one where I'm getting rid of like almost my entire eyeshadow collection. My mom gave me one of her palettes she wasn't using that I can use because it's vegan. Then I just bought the Natasha Denona Retro Palette, midi size one. And that palette, it's not completely vegan, but there's only three shades that have Carmine. I'm like, that is so worth it. And I had $45 in credit card <laughs> rewards, so I thought might as well use that. So originally the palette was $69 and I got it for $25 or $26. That was really nice <laughs> on a Natasha Denona product. And I used two of the shades last night just to try it out. One of them didn't have Carmine in it, so that was fine. Blended like a dream. I forgot how pigmented her shadows are and how they blend just so easily. Then I tried another one that is a type of shade that I would definitely use on a daily basis and it does have Carmine in it. And I tried it. My eyes didn't itch at all. So I think with me, not using carmine and few shadows if you will for years i think the sensitivity to it is diminishing which is nice <laughs> because there's so many eyeshadow palettes that i want to try but not all of them are vegan but there are more coming out that are vegan which is nice <laughs> so we're gonna do a big eyeshadow declutter today without further ado let's get right into this video <laughs> Okay, back to the bathroom for a short period of time. I do have one palette to clutter there because it's old, but it's my favorite palette. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here in this container is all of my eyeshadow palettes. And then there's some face palettes in there too. I'm going to be taking this out and we're going to go to the room I was just in. <laughs> for the sake of lighting and angles, it would be a lot easier to see everything <laughs> laid out. I've seen some other YouTubers just lay all their palettes out on the floor and then go through it like that and I think that would be much easier for this type of video. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> as you can see, here are all my palettes. Not as much as I used to have, I will say. So the palette that my mom just gave me and the one I just bought are not in here, but some of the palettes I do <laughs> use on a daily basis are in here as well. Really just an eyeshadow and face palette collection, but decluttering. Some of these are old and some of them I completely forgot were even in here. So let's go through all of these. First, this is one of my favorite palettes. I used it recently and I think it expired because it made my eyelids itchy. So pretty. You can tell it was well loved. 
That was my favorite shade, A5. A1 is really pretty. B4, I think I used pretty much every shade except for C3. The formula wasn't what I was expecting. It wasn't that great. D4 and C1 I didn't like too much, but this is a well-loved palette. I have thought about repurchasing it. I'm just gonna stick with what I have right now, but if I find that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that palette again. There are shades in there that I am missing. I will buy it. It's $60, so it's expensive. Second palette, this is hard, this hurts. Whenever I would crave to wear color on my eyelids, I would always go to this palette because it's so colorful, it's so beautiful. It looks like I barely touched it because I clean like in between the shadows. I really don't use this anymore. It made more sense when I was working in makeup retail, but as far as like a day to day, it doesn't really make sense for me. I told myself that I would wear these kinds of colors on the weekend, you know fun weekend and all, but I don't actually do that. I keep going towards neutrals because it just makes more sense right now, but I do love some good colorful eyeshadow. I love putting on blues and like the pinks I love doing. The bright pinks palette is really old. It's actually older than the pink one because of what I experienced recently with the pink one. I don't want to risk it with this one. A little bit closer. Such a beautiful palette. If you have not tried the Norvina palettes, Highly recommend that you do because you will not be disappointed. Two face palettes I forgot I had. Both of these I got in as Ulta Gratis, but they're not my kind of shades that I would wear. The Sun Dipped Glow Kit one is definitely more for medium to deep skin tones. As you can see, I swatched them. Like, I tried to use that one summer. <laughs> in the summer, I had to be super tan in order to use it. I don't really see any carmine, but anyway, these are super old. So even if I wanted to put it on my eyelids, probably not the best idea to get rid of that one. This is a sugar glow kit. So this one is more my speed but still i would only be able to use this marshmallow shade highlighters with colorful shifts are not my favorite it has this like very 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 slight like yellow and pink shift really pretty i swatched it like right on my hand but you can see it a little bit that reflectiveness pretty but again these are also really old probably should not be putting that on my face this palette I thought I was going to use more and I did not. I only used it that one time when I posted it on my Instagram. Very pretty palette. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to use Mojito Mommy. And I'm going to use Ice Cold. I'm going to use Seltzer. And I'm going to use this and this and this. And I didn't because they're not the tones that I would use on an everyday basis. Cool tones don't really look that great on me anymore. I'm noticing neutral tones look better on me now and warmer tones. So cool tones, it has to be like a certain color and shade for it to work. Speaking of cool tone, I was very excited when I found out that this Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette in Taupe Notch was vegan. And I still sell it on Violet Boss's website because it is fully neutral. So I was really getting all the possibilities I could with a vegan formula. Now, <laughs> when I tried this on my eyes, it looked like I had just come out of a graveyard. Bees were so gray on me. It was not a good look, hence graveyard. I tried the taupe, which is like this cooler shade. I tried even the warmer, slightly neutral tones. They did not look good on me. It looks like I got punched in the face. It's so pretty, but like on the eyes and against my skin tone, it looked awful. This is old anyways. I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. One that I'm keeping because it's actually one of my favorite palettes. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose eyeshadow palette. This came out not this past holiday, but the last holiday. And it has two cheek colors. So it has a blush and a bronzer. The blush, even though it looks super light, it is very, very pigmented on the skin. You have to use a super light hand for that one. The bronzer is way too warm for me. It is orange and it even looks orange on camera because that is exactly how it comes out on my skin. This entire palette isn't all vegan though because of the cheek products. I think this one does have carmine in it so I wouldn't be able to put that on my eyes. Now there are some eyeshadows over here that do have carmine in them. Before when I used them they weren't giving me a problem. After I found out that those did have carmine in it I was expecting it to not work for me. They did give me a problem when they once did not, so I don't really know what the case is with that, but I am a little bit more cautious when I'm using certain shades, but I absolutely love this palette. I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. This, I, ooh, I forgot there's a little card in there. That's cool. Okay, love Benefit so much. And this, ooh, it still smells good. This cheerleader's bronze, oh, 
This cheerleader's brown squad palette broke the internet because of this cookie shade right here. It is so beautiful and it's also really old. I bought this when I was working at Ulta. On my hand, it's quite dark. You can see that, but the reflectiveness is so pretty. I noticed that the Hoola bronzers don't work for me the best. The tones of them aren't great against my skin tone. I've tried even the light Hoola or whatever it's called and even that looked orange on me so I think it's just a tone thing <laughs> just did not look good against my skin tone I loved Coralista Gold Rush didn't do really anything on my cheeks like I would put it on I would see it on the brush and then after I put it on my cheeks I would see nothing but I would also see nothing on a brush it was the weirdest thing because this is more of a blush topper so I did really like this palette but I was only using it for the two shades so that since it's really not even worth it they did eventually come out with cookie in a single pan so if you are interested in that super reflective shade as a highlight definitely go buy that one but that's so old I probably shouldn't be putting it on my face one that I do love but it is actually old I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's working for me like it's not giving me an issue <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if like within next year I'll be getting rid of it this was originally my mom's and this is a Scott Barnes chic cheek palette there's so many opportunities to try different blush shades in here i absolutely love it the ones that i go into the most are minimalist and striker rose striker rose is really good for having a neutral eyeshadow look and you want your blush to match that's a really good one minimalist is more peachy so with those peachier eyeshadow looks it works really well this is actually more pigmented than that one sweet cheeks Oh my gosh, that shade is so pretty. I went into that one a lot during the summer. Rosé. There's a swipe in there, but I don't know if that's for me or my mom. I need to try that one in the summer. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty, but that would look so deep on my skin. Same with that one. Although that could maybe be used as like a shimmery blush. Like a little topper if you're like super light-handed with it. This one, Crush and Blush, is so deep. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull that off. I would have to try it at some point. But that would definitely be better suited for a deeper skin tone. I would definitely recommend recommend it. I go into it almost every single day. I love all the different shades in there and I actually even mix Minimalist and Striker Rose together. It comes out so pretty. This one I have not used in a while. <laughs> forgot I had it because I used the Anastasia palette so much <laughs> but I still will be keeping this one. I love the Wild Nothing palette from Colourpop. All these colors are right up my alley. Pretty vulgar Nightingale eyeshadow palette. I used it a tiny bit, but it wasn't exactly what I expected, so I will be decluttering that one. The Natasha Denona 5 Pan Palette, the Camel Palette. I taped this shade because it has carmine in it. The last time I tried to use it, it looked okay against my skin tone. It wasn't like, wow, this is groundbreaking or anything. I think I need to try it again because it's very small, like, super easy to travel with. I'm not worried about it, you know, when I go move, but I want to make sure what I'm taking with me are things I will be using a ton, things that I love. That's like a maybe pile, but it's going in my keep pile for now. This is the KVD Shade and Light eyeshadow palette. So pretty. Only used like three shades. I don't know what it is about blue shades, but when it comes in this like shimmery formula and not a glitter formula. It doesn't perform how I would expect it to. I thought I was gonna use this and I did not. So I'm gonna declutter it and it's also a little old. This, oh my gosh, I need to ask my mom about this. This is the Beck and Jaclyn Hill collaboration cheek palette. It is years and years and years old and just really keeping it for memory purposes. I'm gonna put it in my keep pile so I can ask my mom about what she wants to do with that one. This palette is also old. Well, not too old, but I'd say like a couple years maybe. It's the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette and I absolutely love this highlighter right here. This is the Diamond Powder. So up top you have the cream formulas for highlighter, blush, and this must be like a blush topper. Those ones are old. I have not dipped into those ones. This highlighter works so well on my skin and it is a glittery highlighter. I love glitter highlighters. I love the way that they look on my skin and to me like those are the kind of highlighters that I love to put on. They make me so happy. They always complete my entire makeup looks and they work for me. They don't have a strong colored base to it. Like this one, nothing strong about it or anything but it does have more of like a colored base to it like very light but still colored like glitter 
doesn't have much of a color base to it so that's why it works because I notice even the lighter shades can look very gray tone on me and almost look like an eyeshadow on my cheekbone and I don't want that kind of look of course it's always glitter for me I may have tried this blush shade not sure and I think I tried this in the summer and it did work but I do have to be tan to use that one here's some Pat McGrath these two palettes I haven't seen a palette yet from Pat <laughs> that is fully vegan so what's unfortunate about that is like I can only use like one or two shades in each of these palettes and this is the mothership one palette maybe I think this is one of the first palettes she came out with so I could use that blue shade but I don't really reach for blue eyeshadow that much the shade I can use stay away from this side I think I have to stay away from that side so it's really like these three shades that I can use I haven't used that palette in a while this palette is absolutely beautiful it's a midnight sun palette and this shade this topper is like my favorite topper of all time although recently i think because this palette is a little bit older i think the eyeshadows have expired because this one started becoming itchy on my eyelid which is unfortunate because i wish she just popped this out and sold it as a single shade that would be so amazing i would use that all the time but that one doesn't have carmine in it now it's weird try this green shade this one gives me an issue and i don't think there's carmine in here that one i can't use that one might because it has purple in there and i've even tried this gold one and it's given me an issue so it's like i was only dipping into this one but this is my mom's palette but then she gave it to me because i hit pan on this shade i dug into it so much so she just gave this palette to me but i might have to just declutter this because i love that shade but it's been giving me eye issues that's so unfortunate gotta move on <laughs> but i'm gonna keep this other one and i'm just gonna see if it does or does not give me an eye issue i mentioned this in one of my last videos this is a clinique called a all aglow face palette i just have to use this with a super 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 light and or when I'm really tan, but even when I'm really tan, I have to be light-handed because it's so pigmented. So if you haven't used Clinique face products, they are pigmented, so be careful. <laughs> but they will give you that color impact that you need. I have tried Blush and Brighten. I have to try it again because I think I liked it on my skin, but I don't know if it was really the correct tone because this is a palette more for light to medium slash deep skin tones. Unfortunately, it's not for a fair skin girl like me. I haven't been able to let go of this palette because this was a gift. I don't know, I feel weird when it comes to gifts and I'm like, I don't wanna get rid of it, but it's not working for me. So I wanna give it to someone who would get better use out of it. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is an Ulta Z palette, but I have ColourPop single shadows in here and I also have a contour shade, which I should probably throw out because it's probably really old but it's the Sephora contour shade number 36. I think there was an actual name to it and I don't remember at the top of my head, but that's a great contour shade. I don't contour anywhere, but lately I've been feeling like I might need to. <laughs> in the summer, like I did not wear bronzer much at all. So I was self tanning my face and I really didn't need it. But now that it's winter time and my skin is more fair and I'm not self tanning at the moment, I need some life and color <laughs> into my face besides blush. Well, I know that contour obviously is not gonna give like life to your face. It's just more of a definition makeup product, but I don't know, I kind of miss it. Anyway, I think I need to get rid of these glitter shades. They're so, so pretty, but they're one of those ColourPop shades that they say like not safe for the eyes, use this on the body like type of eyeshadow, which is so weird that you would include it in an eyeshadow palette, I don't know. But these were singles and every time I've used them, they've irritated my eye. They're so beautiful, like they are chunky glitters and that's probably why. So I need to get rid of some of those. These other ones I need to try like these two I think are so pretty like for a smoky look but I have not used them at all well actually maybe I try that one but I need to figure out if like these gray tones would look good on me I don't know <laughs> same with that violet boss palette <laughs> about the grayer tones I don't know the shade names because I had to take off the names in order for them to, some of them to magnetize into this palette I loved this shade I loved that one although that one faded on me really quick and so did that one these three I absolutely loved I do like this lighter pink I dipped into that green one a lot <laughs> I need to try that blue one a little bit more I'm putting in my keep pile because I'm gonna keep some of them but I'm gonna get rid of like half of them four more palettes over here this one is a Chanel single wait this cheek that was blush. I thought this was... Okay, I haven't even tried this yet, so I'm gonna keep that and try it. I thought that was an eyeshadow that I thought I got rid of, but didn't. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Contour Kit Light Medium. Who remembers these? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, this is most likely super old, but I am curious about this one shade because that looks like a shade. Oh gosh, that looks like a shade that, can I even get this out? <laughs> These are supposed to pop out, but I can't get that one out. I might need a tool or something. That looks like a shade that would be best for my skin tone. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it, I guess. I don't need this powder. And if it does work, then I would consider buying that single, not the entire palette. This Too Faced Turn Up the Light palette in medium. It was really interesting because they had a light, medium, and deep. And the light one, I don't think my mom and I liked too much, but the medium one actually worked a little bit better for me, surprisingly. I do have to use this when I'm tan though, but these are beautiful, beautiful highlighting shades. It's all highlighters. There's no blush. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to use it and I don't. It's going to go in a maybe pal because I'm just not really sure. This is so old. They don't even make this anymore. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nicole Guerrero palette, the glow kit. This is also the last palette. As you can see, and it is so pretty. I've dipped into these in the past year or two, but Again, most of these are suited not for my skin tone. Some of them might look like it would, but it would look so deep on my cheekbones and look like eyeshadow and be gray and it would not look cute. <laughs> like I could use Forever Lit, but again, it has that like colorful shift to it that I just don't like. I wish I could use Glow Getter in 143. Yeah, that one looks a little bit deep, but that one looks nice. Forever Young looks nice. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're just too deep for me, unfortunately. I think I need to get rid of that one. Wow, that's pretty good. I have seven maybes <laughs> that I need to work through and see what I need to do with them. But let me show you what I got rid of. Let me show you what I'm keeping. Okay, so here are the palettes I am definitely getting rid of. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's another one underneath that Violet Boss palette. So I got rid of eleven palettes. All right, I'm keeping one, two, three four palettes. Oh my gosh. They're all pink. <laughs> then as maybes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So I have eight maybes. That is like the smallest eyeshadow and face collection I've had probably since I started. <laughs> like even before YouTube. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, like as a yes pile, I'm keeping four palettes. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, I know I was getting rid of a lot, but not that much. All right, and that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified on all my future uploads of beauty, health, and Jesus content. Hope you guys have the best day ever. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.